I'm very excited to be back at Maryland Hall because, in a sense, it's where it all started. Uh, I started presenting my cartoon class uh, in Maryland when I was living there in about 2003, and uh, Maryland Hall was one of the early ones that said, yes, we'll take a chance on you. You have zero experience as an instructor. You've got a lot of experience as a cartoonist. But um, okay, we'll take a chance. Let's see what you got. And in 2004, I presented at Maryland Hall for the first time, and we ran through the cartoon storytelling class um, a number of times throughout um, the course of a year, year and a half. But I continued working as well. Um, I made a movie called Freedom Dance, which uh, is an animated documentary with uh, Mariska Hargitay about a young couple escaping Hungary during the Hungarian Revolution. Uh, I produced Old School, New School, which is a, a documentary exploring the nature of creativity with uh, people. We have a tremendous cast. We've got the actor Brian Cox. We've got William Fraker, who's a five-time Oscar-nominated cinematographer. We've got McCoy Tyner, legendary jazz musician. We've got Manny Eisenberg, Tony Award-winning Broadway producer. We've got so many people talking about what creativity is, how you find your voice. Uh, now and Forever Yours um, is a uh, docudrama that takes place during the Civil War in America, uh, and uh, it was nominated for an Emmy Award. Um, I produced Silence of Falling Leaves, honoring Polish prisoners of war, um, which was also nominated for an Emmy Award, and dozens upon dozens of uh, corporate videos, commercials, um, image videos, and as a result, I've been, for the last four years or so, touring, um, sharing with audiences in, in lectures and workshops what I've been learning and discovering in 20, 25 years as a, as a creative person working in cartoons and in, uh, in the cinema and television production. I've toured the Middle East, I've toured Southeast Asia, uh, I've toured all over the U.S. Um, presenting these lectures and, and workshops, and it's all kind of coming full circle now. It's coming back to Maryland Hall for the Creative Arts in Annapolis, and I'm so excited.